Today, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. What's up guys? We're back with some more Minecraft. I know you guys have been waiting for a long oh, yeah, time for we this. Are. And we're back. So I, I saw a lot of people in the last video were asking in this video actually, over here, let's show them. Let's show them. Let's go all the way over here. So a lot of you guys are asking how to build a garden like this one in my last video that we did or in our last video that we did and today I'm going to show you how I put this together it's not as big and it's not as awesome but it's still a garden this is more of a beginner kind of starter garden whether than this one is more of a you know look what I did kind of thing it's more of a I can build whatever the fuck I want kind of thing whereas this one's going to be a little bit easier to do it's going to be a bit more less resource heavy let's say so, we start off with this house, right? Boring, generic house. Does look kind of cool, but not really, because it's got no garden. You know, what's a house without a garden, right? A house. So, yeah, exactly. It's just a fucking house. It's boring. We, we have got an interior, which is cool. If I see anyone comment, I want an interior fucking tutorial, you can die, dude, because it's you just look. Just look. <laughs> you don't need a tutorial for this. We're going to make an interior tutorial if you guys want it. Don't worry. No, we're not going to make yes, an interior tutorial. Yes, we are. It's not happening. No, we're not. Yes, right. we are. So step I'm one of building do a garden. Don't worry. Right? The first... Son of a bitch. The first thing I would do when I'm building a garden, and this is what I get a lot of questions about, is how do you start building a garden? The same as how do you start building a house? The first thing I do is map out your... Uh, not your area, but you, you make a, a, a kind of floor plan of where you want your walkway to be, where you're going to be walking, places you need to keep free so you can actually get into your house. I've done the same for the front and the back. I put these little stepping stone kind of slabs in, and they look kind of cool. I like them. So that's going to be how we're going to get there. Now, you can do something way more complicated or even simpler. I don't know how you do simpler than this, but you could. As in, you could do like a, a swirly kind of thing and put ponds around it and stuff like that. But this is kind of, yeah, as Sean's demonstrating, you, it's illegal to walk across these. You have to bunny hop because yep. it's advanced warfare now. <laughs> but, you know. No campers allowed. So that's what I would do. I was a camper, what do you mean? <laughs> anyway. So the ne next thing I would do is you would want to close your area in so it's your garden so no one else can get to it. Now, there's many ways you can do this. There's two different fence options here, if you like fences. There's the normal kind of Minecraft fence, which is, I think is kind of boring. And then there's this kind of hybrid one where you use fence gates and fences to give it more of a kind of fence look, which I don't know why they didn't do this in Minecraft anyway. I think this looks really cool, because it gives it way more of a kind of... I don't know, it gives it a bit more character, makes it look a bit more real. And then you come around the back, and here's another another two options. You've got uh, hedges. You've got a one high hedge, and you've got a two high hedge. Now, I went with the two high hedge because I think it personally looks better. And you'll probably see me go for this one more often than, than most because I like it, and I think it gives you a bit more privacy, you know, kind of gives you a little bit more to do. So if you come over to the next build, this is... There's a lot that's changed since the first one, or the second one even, because now we have the hedges in, and I've started adding stuff. We've got a table and chairs. There's barrels here, just for aesthetics, because I think it looks good. There's a tire swing that kind of use your imagination, because, you know, it is a tire swing if you think hard enough. You know, um, you walk through the house. Cool. Come out the other side, you've got barbecue. You've got another table and chairs, you've got an outside work area because, and this is what a lot of people face, is they build houses in Minecraft and then they go, right, this is too small 
for me to build a, a, a work area in. And what they normally do is dig down and build like a, a basement work area or something like that. I thought, why not just put it in the garden? Have like a little area to work in the garden because it really kind of opens the garden up. It fills the garden up and makes you use your garden because there's no point in having one if you're not going to use it, right? That's actually the first time I see someone make an outside work area. And I got to say, I'm probably going to use that more often now. Because it looks amazing. It does look pretty cool. I will admit. I do like the my use of uh, putting um, chests under the stairs. So you actually have stories out here where you can keep all your equipment to do stuff. Yeah, and also... Because I think you the, know, it just gives you more. Also the storage inside the house. You got the barrels up there to signify the cupboards. And you got all the chests underneath here. And here. And then of course... You have these, the shulker boxes. This is all extra yeah, storage. storage in the floor. It's what I'm saying. If you put your imagination to it, I don't, I've never understood how people can run out of, of space in Minecraft because there's so many different ways to store things that look good. Like, I haven't got 50 chests stacked to the ceiling in this place. I've got, what, four chests? Or three little chests and one big chest, and then I've got my whole floor of storage anyway. So it's like, I'm not going to run out of storage. You're good. And then you've got more storage outside. You've got more storage in the front garden with the barrels in the front garden. You've got more storage here. Like, you're never going to run out if you've really put your mind to it. Also, can I just point out my cool little additional feature out here? Because, you know, Minecraft is Minecraft and we can't actually have, like, taps or anything... This is my tap to connect the hose to for the garden. So, you know, now you know what it is. It makes sense. <laughs> Don't do like yeah. me at the last minute and be like, what the hell is that supposed to be? And after that, offend them. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what? Now, if we come over to the next build, this is completely the same as the other one, except I've done the final step, which I think you'll agree looks way better, is... I've added a bit of grass, I've added a bit of greenery, bone milled some stuff, you know, it just looks a bit more lived in, a little bit more used, and I really like this kind of look. It looks like a house. Just like my girlfriend. And if you come out the back, I've also added a tree, added some more barrels, just in case you didn't have enough storage. There's some more for you and all your aunties, old antiques that you don't want to look at in your house. And then, you know, it's just added a bit of grass and made it look a bit better i feel i feel it looks better than it would have without if it, i know a lot of people don't like bone mill and stuff like that and having grass and, and stuff like that if you prefer the clean look then you'd go for it who am i to tell you what you can and can't do i just feel like as houses go you're never gonna really see one that's perfectly trimmed so i feel like this looks good especially if you're gonna keep this in a kind of woodlands area this looks really dope yes fully fully agree I also love the barbecue. It looks hella amazing. It's huge, but I mean, yeah, it's amazing. I totally didn't steal that design from your world. I don't know what you mean. There's only one thing you forgot, but that's for another day. <laughs> no, now that's going to bug me. Hang yo, why the fuck did you do that? <laughs> also, that's not fair. Guys, if you'd like to one day be part of this world or any of our other worlds and make your own builds for them to be featured on the channel. Let us know. We might pick one of our lucky viewers, <clears throat> Josh, <clears throat> to um, come and join in on us to um, watch this and help us. Yeah, that would be dope. If any of you guys have any ideas for anything you want us to build, please leave it in the description or message us on Xbox. You both know our game tags. You can see them. Badman194 and his is UglyElmo001. So you can't exactly, you know, mess it up. But if, if you right want to message there. us, give us suggestions. I want to start a... I want to start a map where I build the comments. Like, like anything you tell us to do, I'll build it. Even if it's a dildo wearing a sombrero smoking a fucking toilet. Like, I'll do it. Just because, why not? That's more going to be something like, for it's TikTok, random though. Shit. <laughs> oh, no. That's not even, dude. I can't. I can't. So, I think about that 
basically concludes this video. If there's any questions you guys have got, you know, leave them down below. Or even build suggestions, leave them down below. Anything you want to see next, leave it down below. You know the rules. And, yeah, I think we're good. Like you said, you know the rules. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. All them other man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.